these koalas are outraged. They look like two kids having a tantrum, but what's going on is no joke. The fight started up the tree. The male climbed up to annoy the female, sparking one of those fights. She isn't at all happy with the chase, much less with him pinching her bottom. Yet, the male has set his mind to the task, and quitting is the last thing he'll do. At ground level, it gets even worse. However, regardless of the male's intentions, the little female won't budge and keeps scratching and screeching to keep her bully away. Then the unthinkable happens. The keeper who captured the moment at the Australian sanctuary said such a fight is extremely rare since koalas aren't in mating season. Looks like someone ended up tired though. Koalas have become a very intriguing species. They carry several stigmas that make them fascinating. Beyond the aggressiveness that could be seen in the fight, these small animals also have many other facets. Their laziness is often what people point out the most, but they can also be very affectionate beings. Somehow, they have become misunderstood animals. Their disinterest or their displays of violence have generated apathy, but these characteristics are far from being true. Koalas have had to fight continuously for their survival. According to the Australian Koala Foundation, these small animals are in serious danger of extinction. Wildfires, roadkill and attacks by domestic dogs have driven their wild population down to less than 100,000. They're in imminent danger of becoming extinct, becoming endangered. The population's doing this. It's not doing this, it's not doing this, the population's doing this. And every day that goes by means there's one less koala. Muchos de los koalas que existen actualmente también se trafican para transformarlos en mascotas y eso también va disminuyendo su calidad de vida y la forma en que la especie se reproduce. Hay que tener mucho ojo con eso. The situation of the small Australian marsupials is complex, so it is necessary to preserve their natural habitat and stop seeing them as apathetic animals, because just like cats and dogs. Koalas are willing to give all their affection. When you've got five koalas here, ten koalas there, a freeway, an industrial area, sports fields, golf course, housing, how do these koalas breed with these? They can't fly. They need trees, they need help, they need support. 